Hey, what's going on guys? Clanky Zolt back again with another Final Fantasy Brave Exvius banner review. This time for the Final Fantasy 13 banner that uh, has Saz, Vanilla, and Snow on it. Uh, I'm going to get you all the info you guys need to know on the TMs and the actual units and if you guys want to be pulling. So let's go ahead and get into it. Saz is the first character we're going to go over on this Final Fantasy 13 banner. And I got to say, he's kind of super disappointing. The only redeeming quality I see in Saz is that he has full break. So if you don't have a full break unit and you're still really, really needing one, you can pick up Saz because he does have full break. What else does he bring to you? Well, he's a physical damage dealer, but other than that, well, other than full break, nothing. I mean, his TM is 20-sided dice. It's going to give you two passives, one giving you 20% a chance to dodge physical damage abilities, and then uh, the other one giving you 20% up on critical strike. Giving anything that adds RNG that's super chance worthy is just not worth it when we're talking about it in the TM world Because essentially you could grind for that TM forever and get that and have a chance of it helping you out Or you could be grinding something like Excalibur or Dual Weld and that's for sure going to help you out dual cast things like that So I would rank this TM not even farmable in my opinion Moving on, his, uh, his skill set doesn't bring a lot to the team. He has a really low attack stat. He starts at 3 star going up to 5 star, so he's going to drop like candy, I'm sure. But he's not that worth it. Uh, in the Japanese version of the game, he doesn't get a 6 star, and I don't see him one getting in the future, so... Saz is really lackluster in the booby prize of this banner. Let's talk about Vanille. Vanille is the support unit in a way on this banner. Vanille isn't that great either, coming in at four star, going up to five star base. She has a uh, she has an excellent TM in Majestral. It's Majestral Crest. It gives you 30% to magic and then 30% to spirit, which is pretty awesome. It's actually better than the earrings that we had gotten from the uh, Fat Chocobo. If you guys remember, if any of you guys got that with Star Quartz, well now this is going to be better. This is going to take the place of best in slot for mages for now. And it even could be better on your um, supports and things like that if you can spare the accessory slot. Uh, so it's definitely a TM worth farming for. Moving on to the actual character, though. Here are some redeeming qualities. She has cheer. She has uh, focus. So she has both of those on one character, which is really awesome to have. But then she kind of falls off from there. She has uh, Asuna. She has Kuraga, but no Kuraja. Um, so that's gonna hurt her a lot. She doesn't get a 6 star on the Japanese version of the game, so that's even hurting her more. Um, you know, I want my healer. I think this is supposed to take a healer slot, and she doesn't have Kiraja, and at this point in the game, we need Kiraja or better or bust, because we have units like, uh, Refia, and then Tillis, when she gets her 6 star, is just gonna be insane. Uh, so I think Linda's even better than, uh, Vanilla right now. We don't know what the global exclusive ability is yet, but unless it's, like, a super awesome Kiraja cure, it's not gonna take, it's not gonna be enough, I don't think. Uh, moving on, she has a really nice limit burst, which is called Death. Instant KO to all enemies at a percent chance. Obviously, if you level it up more, it'll go higher. If this works in PvP, which I think it does, might be a new meta or something, guys. You just cast their limit break, get it up, cast it, and hope to KO everybody. It is a limit burst, though, so it takes time to build up. But it's very, very interesting and kind of cool. Uh, just something cool about the character to know about. But other than that, Vanilla's kind of a lackluster support healer. And not much to say other than that. I mean, ugh. <laughs> you kidding? We're talking about Snow right now. My boy, the Monk, the badass from 13. A lot of you guys out there might not like Snow, but I love Snow. Uh, Snow comes in at a four star going up to six star base. He's supposed to fill that physical damage tank slot. Is he better than Cecil? Is he better than Warrior Light at six star? No, he's not. But he kind of fills a different role in my opinion. He can be your tank if you need him to be, if you don't have Cecil already. Um, but he kind of does something a little different. We'll get into that. Let's talk about his TM, which is a great one called Champion's Belt. Champion's Belt is going to give you a, uh, a boost to your attack and defense by 20% if you're wearing a, a fist weapon or a, a, a knuckle, things like that, which is awesome. But besides that, it's also increasing your attack and defense by 30 flat. It's just going to buff up your attack and defense by 30 flat. Awesome, awesome TM, much like the Gafgarian and Luna TMs. Best in slot for uh, most physical damage dealers, uh, you know, aside from the Gilgamesh TM, you know, for dual wield, things like that. So this is definitely a TM I would farm and be excited to get. Moving on, he has one of the highest HP pools in the game, which is awesome, or at least released right now. He does have water abilities and water magic, which is something a lot of the uh, character pools are missing. So it'll help you guys maybe in your missions, uh, maybe if an enemy is weak to water, you know, complete those missions and say use water or damage or water magic, things like that. Another great thing about Snow is that he's really great at countering. He has uh, eye for an eye, doubles his chance of countering. He has counter, so he can counter physical attacks. And then he also has um, magic counter, which is going to counter magic by 30%, which is awesome. So, like, maybe a magic attack is about to hit you, and Snow's just going to counter it back, which is really cool. Um, also, Snow has this cool ability called a battle roar, and he's going to take 2,000 damage to himself, but buff the entire team by 50% attack, okay? And that's the highest attack buff we have in the game right now. So that's something else you could think about that he brings 
brings to your team is that he can actually hurt himself pretty bad and as long as you have a really nice support you just heal it back up and he has a high uh hp pool anyway so that could be that could be uh, beneficial there too and then all your people are buffed by 50 percent so a physical attack dealing parties are definitely gonna love that if you do end up pulling him he also has uh draw attacks which you know how like with cecil you have to use provoke from golem um this guy right here, Snow, is just going to draw attacks by 50%. It's going to increase his likeliness of being a targeted by 50% already. It's a passive, which is great on him. Kind of sucks he doesn't have the other stats to back him up. He also can't really equip all the tanky things you need a, a tank to kind of put on him. He can't equip the heavy armor, the heavy helms, the shields, things like that. So you're going to have to build him weird. I think if I get him, which I am going to try to pull for him, I'm going to build him more of like a tanky a DPS. Uh, trying to make him do as much damage as he can on his counters and on his hitbacks and stuff like that and just have him do a tons of damage so that's what I want to do. Uh, talking about his limit burst which I think is pretty usable. Uh, Sovereign Fist it's going to do physical damage at a kind of a good rate and then it's going to ignore defense by 50% when he does his physical damage so it's going to hit pretty hard if you have enough attack on him so I think that's pretty cool and noticeable to think about. So is Snow the best tank out there? No. Is you need to grab him or pull him or you're missing out? No, not at all. But overall, if you're a Snow fan or you just want to mess around with a character that has a lot of cool mechanics, I would pick up Snow. All right, so that's everything I know about these characters or the things I think you guys need to know. Should you pull? Nah, it's not that good of a banner, obviously, by what I've said about the characters. Um, maybe Snow will be worth it for you if you don't have Cecil or Warrior of Light waiting in the uh, dust there. Or you just want to build Snow up and have a lot of fun. Sure, you can pull him. He seems like a fun character, you know, one to mix and match in your teams, things like that. He can do a lot good things for you but other than that the banner is just garbage uh do you need to pull to get the bonus for the event we don't know what the drop rates are going to be like on the materials yet or the currency i mean excuse me but i just don't think so maybe do some daily pulls get a saz or two throw them on your team uh possibly get lucky and get snow and be able to use him vanilla maybe but overall it's just not worth it in the end um you know i think next week we're going to get a lightning a thing and then a hope banner and that'll probably be better for you because you have a chance of getting lightning at least when you are pulling if you guys like this video please uh give it a thumbs up comment down below if you're pulling on this uh, banner or how you feel about it probably sucks and then uh, uh, subscribe for future content we'll talk to you guys later last but not least let's talk about that Final Fantasy 15 speculation there was a video release that was in Japanese and it was Noctis coming to Final Fantasy Brave Exvius I'm pumped about it I really like the way Noctis works with his weapons uh, summoning and uh, jolting all over the place and flying and teleporting he seems like a great character the thing